What is up YouTube and welcome to The Resin Engineer. So, on today's video, if you're like me and you do a lot of printing, you go through an LCD screen pretty quick. I've had this printer for about three months now and I've put easily over 600, nearly 700 hours of print time on it. The LCD screen is starting to go. So I've ordered myself another one and uh, I'm gonna show you how to replace it. Let's get into it. So, as with all things that come from Piopoli, everything is always so very well packaged. They take a great deal of care to make sure that their products are safely packaged for shipping. First we start off by peeling out this tape that's in the inside. This is to help block the UV light from the array underneath, but also prevents any resin spills, if you spill resin or anything, from seeping down into the electronics. Just making sure that everything's nice and clean, just using some wax and grease remover to remove any residue from the tape. Next up is taking out the screws and then carefully lifting the frame that holds the LCD. Underneath we can see the LED array as well as the connection for the LCD screen. This is just a simple connection. Pop it out there and I just use a bulldog clip to hold it in place so it doesn't fall back into the electronic chamber and I'd have to go fishing for it. So once we've got the old screen out, it's time to pop it out of its aluminium frame and uh, put the new screen in. Again, just cleaning everything, make sure there's no residue from that tape from before. Now with the screen placed on a flat, firm surface, you want to remove the protective film on the back of the screen. You don't remove the film on the front of the screen. The protective film on the front of the LCD screen is to protect the LCD, so you want to leave that one on. You may also notice the splotchiness of the screen. That's totally normal. It's just part of the manufacturing process of the screens and it won't affect the LCD's operation. And here you see me just using some electrical tape to secure the LCD into the frame. This is to make it easier to install it back into the printer here. And with the screen placed propped up in this orientation here, you want the red wires on this cable to the left hand side with the blue wires on the right. and just slot it back into the plug. And with just a bit of firm pressure, press on either side of the plug and it should just pop right in place. Then just give it one final wipe to make sure there's no dust or particles on the screen before we lower it back down. So before we go putting all the screws back in, it's a good idea just to use the calibration check and make sure that the screen is properly plugged in and everything's working correctly. You can see here, all the edges around the box are nice and crisp. There's no overlaps. We're not seeing any error messages being displayed on the screen. Um, everything's looking perfect. So as I mentioned before, you only want to remove this sticker on the front of the panel. You don't want to remove the protective film that they have on the front panel. That's there to protect the LCD screen. And then I'm just putting some more electrical tape around the edges to seal off any light leak. And then adding all the screws back in. Now, I didn't have any electrical tape wide enough to cover the edges properly. Um, so what I'm doing instead is I'm just cutting some of this carbon fiber vinyl wrap that I've got at the appropriate width. Um, and then I'll just apply that over that thin electrical tape that I placed first. Aside from it being more aesthetically pleasing, um, this vinyl wrap has a textured surface which allows the vat to slide on it more easily. So because we've now reinstalled the LCD panel, we've applied new tape to the surface, um, the VAT and the FEP sheet are going to sit at a slightly different height. So what I'm doing is I'm just loosening up my bed and I'm just going to run my bed leveling operation again so that my bed is now re-leveled to the new surface. And there you have it, just like that, it's so easy to replace. All the documentation for how to do this with the Phenom is well laid out. Pioply have done a really amazing job with their printers. I had an amazing time working with this printer and I look forward to working with it into the future, especially with the new Phenom Prime and the new mono screen upgrade kit that they're coming out with soon. So when this LCD screen dies, we'll be looking at going on to the mono screen. So yeah, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. Let me know down in the comment if you have any questions about resin printing and using a printer like this and I'll see if I can help you out. And as always, I've chaos and until next time expect the unexpected and i'll see you guys later and a special thank you to all my patrons that help support the channel 
you would also like to support the channel, there's a link in the description.